You thought I was not coming back? Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm super happy to see you again. I know that Christmas and New Year is always super different in every country. And people also celebrate it differently in every family. I have had the opportunity to spend Christmas with four feet. Four, time in Finland I have had the opportunity of celebrating Christmas with four different families. So I have seen and noticed all the differences and different ways that people celebrate Christmas in Finland and I think it's really awesome. I have noticed some differences between celebrations in each family. But today let's talk about the things that are quite common in almost every family. The first things are the Christmas dishes. You will always have different kind of casseroles, like uh, carrot casserole, potato casserole, some kind of red thingy casserole, <laughs> what is that, punayuri casserole, and lantu casserole. I have no idea what lantu is in English, but it's something that almost no one likes in Finland. Almost. Another thing that almost everybody has during the Christmas time is the famous Christmas salad that is called rosoli. This rosoli salad is made out of uh, una yuri. I have no idea what that is in English, but it's something red. And it also has carrots, right? It has carrots. Yeah. And what else does it have there? It has the cucumbers yeah. thingy, but there's no the pickles. It has pickles. It has pickles. Puna yuri is beetroot. Beetroot? Yeah. Beetroot! Beetroot! That's the name! Beetroot! I don't especially like it because I don't like pickles. I'm sorry for all of you that love pickles. I hate pickles. One important part of the Finnish Christmas or the Finnish Christmas food is the kinku. And the kinku is uh, the ham and they prepare it in a way that they like just seasoning, they put some seasonings and some like things on top and then they do a lot of things and then they eat it and everybody's happy because it comes from the oven and it's warm and woohoo! I don't eat meat. Well we have the kinku and then after that of course, there's lots of gloggy and lots of yolu tortu because it's Christmas and yolu tortu, of course, makes sense. Like yolu tortu is for Christmas and I made a video about that. And it's so delicious and you have to eat so many of those ones. And, well, another thing that most of the Finnish families have during the Christmas time will be the sauna. I think pretty much everyone, like in this thing, I really think I'm talking like pretty much everyone except for those that don't like sauna. I think only the people that do not like sauna don't take Christmas sauna. But it is really a tradition that on 24th of December people will go and take the Christmas sauna. It doesn't matter the time. Some people will take it in the morning, some people will take it in the afternoon, some people will take it in the night. But the tradition is just to have Christmas sauna. Apart from the Christmas ham, a lot of people also prepare like fish, lots of fish and salmon. And for example, one of my families where I have been spending Christmas once, they love to make this silly, what is silly? They love to make this silly fish, huh? silly fish. Sounds so silly. It's a silly fish! <laughs> Herring is a little type of fish that is quite tasty and my family likes to prepare like all types of herring. Like you have, I don't even know, like I cannot even tell, there are so many. <laughs> but yeah, they like to make fish. Um, in some other families they will make more salmon or different types of fish and then they will like, have like smoked salmon or like raw smoked salmon and different 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 types and lots of types of fish 
What about the decorations? Yes, that's something we have to talk about. I think I have told you before that Finnish people do not decorate their houses during Christmas time. Like, if it's December, they don't decorate their houses until it's Christmas day. Most of people does it. I'm sure there might be a couple of people, maybe a lot more people, that decorate their houses earlier. But it's a tradition as well to put the Christmas tree on the Christmas day. I think I have told you in Mexico we put like our Christmas tree like beginning of December. Like, oh December is here and we have to put the Christmas tree and we have to sing Christmas. So yeah, people will put their Christmas tree on Christmas day, maybe in the morning, maybe in the night, I don't know, anytime. Everybody has their own schedule. Going to the church is not obligatory. Not everybody goes to the church in Finland and they only do it maybe during Christmas time. If there are some children in the house, Santa Claus will usually come to the house at any time of the day and he will just like knock the door and say like Onko tala kilta lapsio! So that basically means is there any good children around? Of course, not everybody has Santa Claus, like in our families where we spend Christmas uh, or where we have spent Christmas during the last few years, we're all grown-ups and the only thing that we get is probably an elf. That is... that is... that is about it. Santa never comes to us. He doesn't love us. Santa, what? You don't love us anymore. Santa, I wrote you my letter this year. What happened? Another tradition that almost everybody has or everybody does is waking up and having yolupuro as breakfast. Yolupuro is a Christmas porridge made out of rice and it's basically rice with sugar and then milk and then they will put an almond inside the porridge and the one having the almond or the one that finds the almond in the porridge will have very good luck during the upcoming year. And of course, while you're having breakfast and eating your yolupuro, very happily, people will go and watch the snowman. Maybe not everybody does this in Finland, but I really like watching the snowman and it kind of gives me the feeling of Christmas if I watch the snowman nowadays. It was not like this before, but now it is and I have to watch the snowman. And the last thing but not the least, of course, is going and visit the graveyards. I don't know why Finnish people do this. We don't do it in Mexico. Maybe we should. <laughs> people has a tradition of going to the graveyards and light a candle on their relatives' graves. And well, it's kind of pretty like when you go there and you see like everything lighting up, it's really nice. I mean, it's kind of sad going to a graveyard during Christmas, but when you're in there, it's not sad at all. So those were about the common things that happen during Christmas in Finland, but it also depends on the family. Like I have already told you before, uh, it depends on which family, like every family might have different traditions and it might also depend on the area where you're living in Finland, I don't know. Everybody has different traditions and these are some of the traditions that I have noticed around in the families where I have stayed during Christmas. That was it for today guys, I hope you liked this video and if you have any other types or kind of traditions that you do in your family in Finland or in whatever you live around the world, let me know in the comments down below, I would really like to see how you spent Christmas in your family. Recording because it's formatting the things in there. Let's just dance. dance.